Say hello to temps in the upper 90s as we hit midsummer on Explore Tulsa. So we start the show with a throwback look at blockbuster movie going. Then a music making photographer. Followed by the head chef at the drive through lunch. Plus the big conversion to better MPGs. Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. As the tents really begin to heat up, many of us are getting a break from the heat by taking in a summer blockbuster or two. Yeah, this week the new Planet of the Apes movies will be in theaters, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is coming in just a few weeks. Each of those have talking animals, but before there were talkies at all, there was the theater pipe organ and the talented person playing it. I know where you're going with this, Trish. The Circle Cinema unveils the return of their newly refurbished 1928 Robert Morton Theater Pipe Organ this week. They sure do, and it's all thanks to the guys at the Sooner State Chapter of the American Theater Organ Society. I've had a lifetime interest in theater organs. It all started back in 1935 when I was four years old and my brother took me down to the Ritz Theater here in Tulsa to hear the organ. Well, the sound was so beautiful that I just fell in love with it when I was just a small child. This pipe organ was installed in this theater in uh, the fall of 1928 and it was here until about 1931 and of course the talkie movies came out in 1929 so after that the organ was hardly used and they donated the organ to the Scottish Rite Shrine and then in about 03 or 04 the uh, circle restoration project began. They bought it and I installed it together with volunteers and we've been working on the installation since September of uh, 2013. This particular organ when it was installed in 1928 was the two manual which you see here in the console and it only had four ranks of pipes. We've increased the number of pipes so that we now have seven ranks or families of sounds, plus the other sounds that you've heard, the yoga horn and uh, things that are sound effects for the silent movies. These particular items, which are in this horseshoe arrangement, are called stops. And they're actually what the organist used to create the moods, the colors of the music. Think of it actually as an artist's palette where he or her playing the organ can blend the tonal colors to create the mood. It's been a lot of fun to be involved uh, the hands-on experience from the ground up uh, installing this organ. I do not play the organ, but I got interested in it because I'm an engineer. and it, it is an outstanding electromechanical pneumatic device. It has a lot of uh, levers and uh, electronics, a marriage of a lot of different things and has uh, both uh, vintage components and uh, we've had to install some modern electronics in it to give it the full capabilities of, of organs in today. And this project came along and uh, I volunteered as others did. Uh, to join Phil in putting this together. This is my first experience in uh, having the opportunity to be part of a complete uh, restoration and installation. And it's a very uh, emotional experience. The first time that we uh, applied wind and we actually uh, tried the keyboard, Phil was at the uh, keyboard, and uh, we actually got sound. Even though the pipes needed to be tuned, why, uh, it was a wondrous sound. It's amazing to see the reaction, of course, the older folks that remember them or uh, bring back memories but the youngsters that come out today uh, they get very excited because uh, they're in, they get involved in the music uh, it gives them an attachment to the film. It's a very satisfying and powerful experience to be able to sit here and control all of that beautiful music which comes from the organ loss back behind the screen. It's really a thrill. 
Those guys did an amazing job putting that organ back together. I had no idea how many parts made it work. Knowing makes me even more love watching those old Buster Keaton and Charlie Chaplin silent movies. That slapstick comedy, it just cracks me up. How about a pie in the face, Trish? How about we just tell everyone that they can see Buster Keaton's silent movie one week, just like people saw it in the 1920s, with theater pipe organ accompaniment on Friday, July 18th. It's all part of the celebration of the Circle Cinema's 86th birthday. So be sure and call for reservations at 918-585-3456. You can also visit their website to learn more about everything they have planned for the celebration at circlecinema.com. Music seems to be the theme of today's show because our next guest spends a great deal of his time entertaining folks all over T-Town. Maybe he'll let me sing with him. Well, let's hope not. But John Southern is a real character that you'll enjoy getting to know next when Explore Tulsa continues. Ever since the first movie theaters opened in the early 1900s, man has been trying everything to bring that same experience home to enjoy with their families. And for more than 30 years, Video Revolution and their home entertainment experts have been making those dreams come true by designing custom home theater solutions for both in and outdoor use. From 1080p LEDs to the brand new Sony 4K flat panel TVs, or come in to see the latest in sound bars and surround sound setups, always the top name brands are found at Video Revolution. That same electronic expertise we also apply to your business communications network, from boardroom automation to video wall presentations. No matter what technology the future holds, you can count on Video Revolution to be leading the way. Tulsa's headquarters for the best selection and installation of cutting-edge electronics. Video Revolution, on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Hey, it's Stevie from Explore Tulsa with my friend and optometrist for many years, Dr. Robert Zellner. Tell everybody why it's so good to come in to see you. <laughs> well, that's a great question. Let's see, we've got two great locations. We try to stay cutting edge at every point along the way because let's face it, everybody wants to come in and get taken care of in a timely fashion and get the latest, greatest stuff and save some money and get on with their life. And, and, see, and see clearly. And if you don't believe it, look on the website. Absolutely, drzellner.com. You can find that we have our two locations at 69th and Memorial and 30, 3030 South Harvard, or you can give us a call at 749-2020 or 461-2020. And I got four kids, and I gotta tell you, as a big family like that, it's affordable too. Oh yes, and of course, the number one reason, you save some money. I mean, with our two pair specials, with our uh, different unique packages that we put together, I mean, you can come in here and your money can go a lot farther than anywhere else. And that's why with Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates, Seeing is believing. Oh, I like that, yeah. Stevie. Well done. <laughs> Hello, and thanks so much for returning with us for more Explore Tulsa. Our next guest is an absolute Tulsa original. We've enjoyed his work from the days he was an artist and photographer for the Tulsa world. To finding him performing around town in a style that is uniquely John Southern. <laughs> We got a camera when I was six, and I started taking photographs when I was six years old. My dad had a tape recorder that I started playing with when I was six. So I started recording and taking photographs and singing and whistling when I was five or six. So I didn't know that I'd do it for a living. I just knew it was fun and uh, thought I'd just, you know, have fun for a while with it. I'm John Southern. I was born in Tulsa back when the dinosaurs were fighting us for parking places downtown. And I've lived here all my life. I remember when they sandbagged the Arkansas River when I was a kid. I remember older men coming to sandbag the river so that it wouldn't flood, but it, inevitably it did. And then, then we got the Keystone Dam, so I go back a ways. I discovered my artistic side when I was a senior. I, uh, kind of came into my own. I played in a folk festival and I played Sweet Baby James by James Taylor. And, and uh, I got an art scholarship to Tulsa Junior College at the time. Uh, I had a class under Otto Decker, a very famous artist, and uh, learned a lot from him. And uh, mostly I learned that I would be the last in the class to finish my drawings and my paintings because I was so slow and meticulous. So I didn't want to cut off my ear to become famous. So I took up photography and uh, got a job at the Tulsa World the year after I graduated. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, when I was at the World, my boss, Johnny Walker, he says, you know, you could be a really great photographer if you'd ever decide what you want to do, whether you want to be a musician or a photographer. And I always thought, well, I can do both. Why can't I do both? And so in my early years at the World, Johnny would allow me to be off certain days and I'd play at Shakey's Pizza down on Peoria or Shotgun Sam's. And back in those days, we had to outdo the band, so I would play guitar and uh, bass pedals with my feet and I had an electric drummer and then I'd sing and I'd play harmonica around my neck and it just got to be too much. It's kind of like the guy on the street corner with his cymbals on his knees going ching, 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 you know, it's just like, yeah, it's too much, so. Tulsi town, Tulsi town. I started drawing these imaginary guitars when I was 13. And when I was about 45, I decided, you know, it's time to build them. And I was working for Jim Langdon at, the, at uh, Tulsa People at the time and I had some free time and some money and I got Jerry Reno and we built these guitars called the Lyrics. Uh, so I made a, a whole line of guitars, I developed those and I take them to guitar shows and the best response I ever had, some kid at the Civic Center came up and he looked at one and he goes, that ain't no ordinary guitar. That's the only thing that I remember that was outstanding about my whole guitar building career was that little boy. Except uh, I made this 12 string, this one here. Uh, there was never a time that I decided that I was going to build the guitar, it just evolved. It was just a given. It's like this was just written in my psyche or something. And I just started putting together pieces and then I found someone to help me build it and started cutting up seashells and assembling materials for the wood. You know, I think you have to have something to make your heart light, to get you out of bed in the morning, to look forward to every day. You become self-motivated to the point that sometimes I don't know when to quit. I'll work until I go to bed at night and still think there's something undone. If I had an eight hour a day job, I could just quit and go home. You know, it's just a different, a different mindset. John has accomplished so much throughout his career. Photographer, singer, guitarist. The guy plays the piano and he's a lot of fun to sit around and visit with too. If you'd like to learn more about John or book him for your next event, visit southernphotography.com. I say, let's keep the music going. Oh, good idea, CB. Next up, we'll stop in at the drive through lunch to order up some of Tulsa's rock from KMOD's Lynn Hernandez. I'm gonna ask for some Van Halen and mm, a side of Nickelback when we come back with more Explore Tulsa. Hello friends, it's Dr. Danny for the Danny Beck Chevrolet Planet. I'm creating a giant sale, great rebates, great selection, huge discounts, generous trade allowances, a little extra trade allowances, and my secret ingredient, <laughs> which will make a spectacular Cat, cat, you better get here while you still can, nurse, nurse. For Seven Hollow Flea Market Village, shop 16 buildings on three acres, free admission, and parking's free too. Open every weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Find us one block east of 71st and Garnett behind the Salvation Army store. If you ever turned on a radio in Tulsa, then you'll be so glad you stuck around for more Explore Tulsa. Since the 1970s, Tulsa has tuned to KMOD for their rock music fix. Heck, actress Jeannie Triplehorn used to work the morning show with Phil Stone before mornings became infamous with Phil and Brent and their character Roy D. Mercer. And for the past nine years, midday talent Lynn Hernandez has steadily become the face of KMOD. I started in college radio at my college radio station in Finley, Ohio, University of Finley, 88.3 WLFC. I had no inclination to be in radio at all. I just fell backwards into it, and now, 25 years later, <laughs> still doing it. I ended up being just a DJ all the way to a program director, general manager by the time I left the college station. And then I got an actual job at an actual radio station, and that was different and exciting. And then I moved to Texas, and Austin was great, just such a great music town. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was great. I, the program director and operations manager, Don Christie, and I worked together when I was in Austin about 15 years ago. And then I moved to Dallas. 
and I'm a big Dallas Cowboys fan and got to have the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders on my show all the time. <laughs> Why? Why not? <laughs> it was rock radio in Dallas and it was, it was awesome. And as fate happens, he ended up coming to Tulsa and then when I was leaving Dallas, he called me and said, come on up to Tulsa, be on DJ on KMOD. I didn't hesitate for a minute. When you're in radio, it's a small industry. It really is a small world and getting smaller, but it doesn't matter where you are in the country, you hear of these big, giant rock stations and radio legends from all over the country. So yeah, absolutely. I knew about KMOD when I first started in getting into radio in college and we were reading college radio magazines all the time and trade magazines and you would hear about all these big DJs and big, big rock stations and and uh, by God Roy D Mercer and KMOD was was always uh, uh, you know something that I looked for in the trade magazine MOD Led Zeppelin over the hills and my far first away. day my I was as you can imagine nervous extremely excited and honored and could not wait to meet Phil and Brett and I came in about 9.30. The control room door was open and I just sort of peeked my head in and there they were, sitting behind the microphones, Phil and Brent. And Phil sort of looked over at me and, and he said, um, can I help you? And then Brent looked at me and said, who the hell are you? <laughs> I said, well, I'm, I'm your new midday guy. <laughs> and they just went back to their what they were doing. And that, that's how our relationship started. <laughs> you know, there's um, um, computer software to help you schedule music, but the drive through lunch is all request and no holds bar. It's a crazy show. You never know what you're going to hear. Some crazy classic rock song or some brand new song or a song from a genre you haven't heard since the 90s. Or <laughs> and it's all attributed to our operations manager, Don Christie. When I got here, he hired me come to Tulsa and said that noon hour in your show I want you to come up with an idea and I said how about an all request drive through lunch and he said have at it and I'm, I'm proud to, to, to drive it <laughs> we have a show too every Friday night an hour dedicated to local and independent music it's called Domp it's our you know our one hour that we attribute to the local music scene in Tulsa the studio is called prehistoric studio B and it's um, a whole separate room that's designed and wired and, and soundproofed uh, just for live music. The music scene in Tulsa has grown quite a bit in, in just the nine years I've been here. There's clubs that have live music. We have the BOK Center, so we don't have to drive to Oklahoma City for big concerts anymore. And, and uh, the Brady Arts District is thriving with Guthrie Green, and it's just a really exciting time. This is the 100th year anniversary for Brady Theater, and uh, Kane's Ballroom, of course, is just so great. And hard Rock with the joint, and, and uh, yeah, it's just a great, great time for music in Tulsa. I, I lucked out, I really did. It is very hard to get into radio, and even harder to stay in it. Tulsa is such a great place to live. I don't ever want to go anywhere else. I have two beautiful children and I want to raise my family here. For me and my future here in radio, I hope it's a long one. What a great job Lynn has, sitting around listening to rock music all day, then he's got to pick the KMOD babe of the day. Yeah, that's a real tough work. I'm sure you would just hate that. <laughs> you can join Lynn each weekday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on 97.5 KMOD or visit KMOD.com to learn more. Next, we're going to talk about CNG vehicles, but we actually found a way to cover a little music too. It's not every day that you find the kind of talent that CNG Innovations offers to their clientele. But seeing is believing. So stick around for a great little surprise when we return with more Explore Tulsa. Hi, Dr. Robert Zellner here. For over 20 years, I've offered affordable, convenient eye care in Tulsa. Right now, you can get one pair of glasses or contact lenses starting at just $99 or my two-pair deal for $129. Hey, and as always, the eye exam's included. Walk-ins are always welcome. Glasses are ready in about an hour. Plus, we have over 2,000 clients to choose from. We're open seven days a week. Come see why we're voted Tulsa's best. And our drive to at 69th and Memorial makes pickup simple and easy. For the best eye care value in Tulsa, Dr. Robert Zellner & Associates. 
at Video Revolution. We've got today's 3D technology. Smart TVs. And I can help you pick the one that's a larger size TV. We handle it all here at Video Revolution. Now people can get a 90-inch TV. Hopefully on an operator. Now coming up on a 30-year anniversary. Customer service is our priority. We have our own service center. It just brings back enjoyment to watching TV. And now it's affordable for everybody. And we sell fun stuff. It's like toys for big kids. The customers that come into Video Revolution are blown away. For Seven Hollow Flea Market Village, shop 16 buildings on three acres, free admission and parkings free too. Open every weekend, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Find us one block east of 71st and Garnett behind the Salvation Army store. If you're like us, trying to find a little relief from those high gas prices, then we just might have the answer for you on Explore Tulsa. That's right, CV. More and more people are turning to CNG vehicles as the answer to better miles per gallon. Now you've driven a CNG vehicle. What's it like? Well, I think the part that sounds the best is that most CNG pumps are still less than $2 a gallon. $2 a gallon? In 2008, we saw gas dip under $2 a gallon for just a few weeks, but it's been nearly 10 years since we could go to the pumps every day and count on that price. Well, the first step to saving is making the conversion, and a good place to start could be with David, Lynette, and Troy at CNG Innovations. Yeah, you know, I think going green is a big issue because we all share the same planet, very obviously. And since Oklahoma is such the OPEC for natural gas, it really works well for Oklahoma. We live in Stillwater and my husband spoke and we were in the ministry and we just had come to that point where we were ready for a new adventure in our lives and that's what brought us to Tulsa. So we already had our other son, Taylor. He and his wife, Adrienne, had CNG Innovations and they had the opportunity to go on to San Diego, California. They called us and asked if we'd like to come over and take over their lives for a while. And because we were ready for a new adventure, we said yes. Oklahoma right now has a great initiative for CNG. Our state is very much behind it with Chesapeake, with Devon, the you know, Sand Ridge, they put a lot of money into it. People are very aware of it. And so Oklahoma is really on the cutting edge of the entire nation in terms of CNG. And we have other states following Oklahoma's lead with the standards and the guidelines we put in place because they're seeing the benefits of CNG to their local business and economy. My personal feelings are it's about 10,000 times safer than gasoline because it's, it's lighter than air. The tanks are designed to um, fracture. And they don't just blow up. They would, they would fracture, worst case scenario. And then the CNG would leak out into the atmosphere, which is perfectly fine, normal, natural. It happens every day. With the CNG, it's so much safer than gasoline because gasoline, you know, it's, it's the point where it'll explode is like a real, real, real wide band, and for CNG, it's a little tiny narrow band, that, you know, at the point that it will ignite. And so it's just so much safer than gasoline all around. The more you drive, the more savings you're going to have with CNG. For example, we did a company recently in a semi truck. That truck was driving 10,000 miles a month. The owner told us it has now dropped his cost 40 cents for every mile he drives. If you've got a fleet of 20 or 30 trucks, that's incredibly significant. I know that today they have about 240,000 vehicles in the United States that are on CNG. And 10 years ago, I believe the number was 40,000. It's mostly fleets. And um, what you're seeing is you're seeing a, a movement for the individual people that are driving a lot of miles to go ahead and do the conversion to CNG because the, the payback is you know seven to eight months and then the rest of the time that they're on their vehicle, they're getting those fuel savings. We believe in what it does in our environment and we just know that it is a wonderful product. It's a wonderful system that can change the environment. You know, one of the things that's always been a big issue in my life is having a purpose worth living for having something that you believe in. What a difference it would make in our country if you had semi-trucks all running on CNG and their fuel costs were being dropped by 50%. What would that do for prices in the goods and services we buy? So therefore, it's not just a job, 
but it's more like a crusade because we believe so much that what we do is significant for everyone, and when we use C&G, everybody wins. Now that service, I loved listening to Lynette play the piano. I think every business should have a piano player. Really? Do you think that would work with every business? Yeah, I do. Like, even a divorce attorney? Da, da, da. Oh, brother. If you'd like to learn more about natural gas conversions, visit cnginnovations.com. Or, you know, you just might eat more beans. You really had to go there, Stevie. <laughs> Stick around. There's more Explore Tulsa just ahead. Hi, my name is Randy. I'm with Video Revolution Sales Associate and DirecTV Manager. Here to tell you today about some really good offers we have for DirecTV. Right now we're offering free equipment, free installation for up to four rooms. We've got a brand new Genie box that records up to five shows. Right now DirecTV also offers wireless boxes. So if you want to put a TV in a bathroom or out on a patio where we can't get wires, for $99 you can get up to three wireless boxes. Well, you have the Genie in the living room, and then you can get these little mini Genie boxes here, which you can put in your second, third, or fourth bedroom, and they all talk with the Genie and allow you to record in every room. But what's really nice is even if you've been recording in the living room, you can bring up your DVR playlist from any room in the house. Right now, they have really good deals going on. The choice package is $32 off a month for your first year. They're also going to give you three months free of all the movie channels, HBO, Stars, Showtime, and Cinemax. We also offer, with anything on the Choice and Above package, you get the whole season NFL ticket for free. They have a lot of free apps now for your smartphones and your tablets where you can actually set your recorder. When you forgot to record your favorite show, you can actually talk to your phone and it's going to go to your favorite channel and record it for you. Come on down and see me. I'll be happy to go over some of the programming choices and uh, what kind of great deals we can do for you. Be sure and join us next week when we meet Taylor Mosby, a young actress from Tulsa who's beginning to make big waves in Hollywood. We want to thank Phil and all the members of the Sooner State Chapter of the American Theater Organ Society for the amazing work you all did on the Circle Cinema's 1928 Robert Morton Theater Pipe Organ. Thanks too to John Southern for his great work on photography and music and to Lynn Hernandez for his continued role as midday talent from the legendary KMOD. Well, thanks to David, Lynette, and Troy for offering alternative of energy opportunities with CNG Innovation. Remember, if you miss any of the show, you can always catch us at ExploreTulsa.com. As always, each week we feature the people, places, and attractions that make us proud to call Tulsa our home. Hey, don't forget to like us on Facebook. Share with us someone you think Tulsa should know more about. Plus, remember, Explore Tulsa is brought to you by Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Stop by, say hello to Ron and all the guys for your home entertainment needs. And Explore Tulsa is also proudly brought to you by Dr. Robert Zollner and Associates. Home of the two pair for a $129 deal. Two locations, 3030 South Harvard and 69th and Memorial. Well, that's all the time we have for you on this week's show, but we'll see you next week right here on Explore Tulsa.